Hi, Dr. Mark Uridel here with a manual technique video. Keep in mind, this is a demonstration of the practical application of information in a related course. I recommend that you take a hands-on workshop to learn these techniques in more detail before applying them. Enjoy! Removing the deltoid now exposes the rotator cuff muscles. Here you see the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, caries minor. You can also see the rhomboid minor and rhomboid major coming from the spine over to the medial border of the scapula. Now let's take a look at the shoulder anatomy from the front. You can see the pectoralis major originating from the sternum and clavicle and then coming across the chest laterally and inserting on the humerus here on the lateral lip of the bicipital groove. You can also see the anterior deltoid here coming from the distal third of the clavicle and attaching to the deltoid tuberosity. Let's take a look at the deeper shoulder anatomy. If I remove the pectoralis major, you see underneath the pectoralis minor originating from ribs 3, 4, and 5 and connecting to the coracoid process of the scapula. Removing the deltoid, let's just take a look at the rotator cuff. There's the coracoid process of the scapula. You can see the coracoral ligament, the coracoclavicular ligament, the acromioclavicular ligaments, and then we can also see the rotator cuff muscles, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, subscapularis. You can also see the long head of the biceps. We start by gliding along the supraspinatus muscle belly in the supraspinous fossa. I have to press through the upper trapezius. So this is a medium deep to deep sweep using my fingers just sweeping in that groove. I can also assess the infraspinatus at this point going along the infraspinous fossa of the scapula to where the tendon comes across and attaches into the back of the shoulder. Using my thumb and fingers to assess for tension or tenderness along this tendon. Dropping down just a little bit, we can get the teres minor as well. Now placing the arm in extension, I palpate right under the coracoacromial arch. And this is right where the supraspinatus tendon inserts. So I can check for tenderness here assessing for supraspinatus tendonitis. This is also a good massage technique. There is tendonitis, digital cross fiber friction, right on the tendon insertion. In this position, I can easily see the chromium process of the scapula and be able to palpate 
right here off the lip. So here's the clavicle coming around to the acromion process. Right off the edge, this is where the supraspinatus tendon inserts. So here I can also palpate for tenderness and do that cross fiber friction on the supraspinatus tendon. I can also come around here to the back and find the infraspinatus tendon and work on that. Either longitudinal friction or cross fiber friction. Biceps tendon comes right across the front here. I can palpate that for bicipital tendonitis, and then likewise I can do cross fiber friction on the tendon for longitudinal friction. 